بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا علیہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب بینی آدم the children of Adam have in a have a a portion portion of zina or adultery that we will commit that doesn't mean physically fornicating and and committing that sin but what it means is through the other limbs that we possess that we will fall into aspects of the Muharram. And that's why we should seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. And there are some things which we may do unintentionally. And what we have to be cautious of is doing things intentionally. Ayyul Ahbab, listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. The adultery of the eye is the lustful look and the adultery of the tongue is the sinful speech and the heart desires and yearns which the parts may or may not put into effect. And in another narration in Sahih Muslim, Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in. There would be no escape from it. The adultery of the eye is the lustful look, and the adultery of the ears is listening to that which is uh, beautified for him. And the adultery of the tongue is the sinful speech and the adultery of the hand is the lustful grip or the embrace and the adultery of the feet is to walk to the place where he intends to commit adultery and the heart yearns and desires which he may or may not put into effect ayyul ahbab from this hadith as well as the many other ahadith we see a warning to be cautious of falling into those things which lead to adultery and fornication. And the ulama, they say, as a, a, a fiqh principle, a wasila, al wasail laha ahkam al maqasid, that the means to something, it takes the same ruling as the ends that you're trying to achieve. What does this mean in regards to what we're discussing? What this means, Ayyul Ahbab, for example, when an individual is staring, for example, at the opposite sex that they find attractive, maybe perhaps a man, he's not lowering his gaze as Allah has commanded us to lower our gaze, but he becomes sloppy and careless in lowering his gaze. So he's looking and this look leads to lustfulness in the heart and desire. And if it goes beyond that which is excusable, meaning the first look that you, you looked, you, you accidentally, you looked up, you saw, of course, you're going to encounter the opposite sex. But if you take another look or an extended look in order to... Uh, heighten your, your desires, then this ayyul ahbab is where the sin comes in and this is a means to the ends of zina. Meaning that this look is sinful. Why? Especially if it's a second look or continuously staring someone down, that this ayyul ahbab leads you to fornication. It is a means to the end, so it takes the same ruling as in that it's both they're both sinful. So Ayul Ahbab, we have to be cautious of what we put into our soul. Be cautious of what we look at. Be cautious at what we listen to. Be cautious with regards to our limbs at what we touch.
and be cautious at what we walk towards. Because our limbs will either bear witness for us or against us. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless our limbs to be a source of goodness. And may Allah protect us from the zina of our limbs and our desires. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.